welcome to journey another day with Jesus into your promised land knowing his will and submitting to his voice Greetings in Jesus name welcome to this beautiful new morning and welcome to every blessing that the Lord has in store for you today wherever you are in life today whatever battles you are facing i have a word of encouragement for you the lord has a plan to redeem you the lord has a plan to protect you it is obvious that the enemy is going to be mad at the anointing that you carry the enemy is going to try to persecute the grace persecute the blessing persecute the favor just because he knows the potential he knows the end result he knows the kind of destiny you can birth if you allow the lord to manifest his fullness through you let me read out a particular scripture this is talking about the story between Saul and David this is the season when David he fled and escaped from Saul and he came to find refuge with his mentor with his spiritual father or his prophet Samuel the bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 19 and verse 20 then Saul sent messengers to take David but when they saw the group of prophets that were prophesying and Samuel standing and presiding over them the spirit of God came upon the messengers and they also started prophesying <laughs> it's a very funny story what is happening here is that these messengers were sent to capture david these messengers they were sent to convey a negative message to david they had to relay the information that saul had put on their lips they came with a testimony they came with a particular information and they were here to relay that information and as a result to take david as a captive back to saul there are certain informations my dear friends if you believe it if you submit to it and if you receive it you will become a captive to that information and that is why you and i we need to be very careful as to who speaks into our heart who speaks into our mind who speaks into our spirit because if this information it is not from the lord then it can create an unnecessary bondage and we can be trapped for the rest of our lives we can be trapped for the rest of our season and we don't know why nothing is changing why i'm not being blessed and here the bible says Saul he sent messengers to David so that they can take him and bring him back to Saul unfortunately for Saul David he was not with ordinary people he was with anointed people and the bible says he was in fact with the prophet himself he was with Samuel and so when these messengers came what they saw is a different kind of messengers they saw a group a assembly a service going on and there is all these prophets that Samuel has raised up now they are all prophesying david he is in the company of prophets david he is in the company of men of god women of god who are speaking the heart of god who are already prophesying they are speaking a different kind of information There are two kinds of messengers in this particular story and both of them are influenced by two different personalities who carry two different spirits. First is the messengers that Saul sent and they are all inspired by Saul. They are sent by Saul. Saul is their mentor, leader, guide and friend and the spirit that is enabling Saul is now also enabling the message that is sent by Saul on the other side there is a group of messengers and the bible says the guy who was presiding over them leading them guiding them helping them it was prophet Samuel and the spirit that enabled the message 
The spirit that enabled that prophecy was the same spirit that fueled the prophet Samuel. An amazing transference happens at this point. The Bible says these guys that came to conquer David as soon as they witnessed the prophets and as soon as they witnessed Samuel, the spirit of God. Wow, this is what I want to teach you this morning. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, He decided to defend David. And how did He defend David? He took over the testimonies. He took over the reports. He took over the words that this enemy had come to speak. And all of a sudden, these guys who had come to prophesy negatively to David, they were filled by the Holy Spirit and they started prophesying in the same manner that Samuel and his prophets were prophesying. Samuel and his prophets were, had been declaring, they had been speaking the heart of God to David. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of God, in order to defend David, he changed the testimonies of David's enemies. Now, I am declaring that as a blessing to each and every one of you. The Holy Spirit, He is an advocate. He is a defender. He is a friend who is going to now fight for you. When the enemy comes to take you captive, their testimony is going to change in this day. Their revelation is going to change because the Holy Spirit is going to take complete control and their prophecies will not come to pass. Their revelations will not come to pass. Instead, now it will be the Holy Spirit who will be speaking to you, who will be using them to bring you heavenly manna and revelation and help and direction. This day, you're released, you're free, you're not under bondage anymore. Instead, there is a truth that is coming to you which will set you free. This Holy Spirit, He is fighting for you. He is not just helping you personally, my dear friend. He is also a friend who is going to now fight for you, who is going to fight for your battles, who is going to fight for your destiny. He is fighting because He knows where you need to reach tomorrow. So Holy Spirit, today, We submit all of our fears, our anxieties, our worries, all of the things that we are faced with, all of our struggles and dangers. We submit it into your mighty care. We know, Lord, that you are able to change the testimony of our enemies, even our enemies, even people that are intentionally scheming and planning and plotting for our downfall. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because you are still in control. We yield our hearts. We yield our dreams and our plans into your hands. This morning, take complete control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. Hope today's word will encourage you and build you for the day ahead. God bless you and Shalom.